at insum.ca. Hello and welcome to Apex Instant Tips, episode number 134, brought to you most Fridays at 12.05 Eastern Time. We're your hosts. I'm Anton, and we have with us Marwa. Thanks for joining again, Marwa. Thank you, Anton. Hello, everyone. I'm always happy to be here with you. Uh, and as people know, we do a tip in just five minutes. Uh, after today's tip, I do have a book recommendation. Um, so if you've got time to stick around, Marwa, I'll, I'll share my book re recommendation with you. Sure. <laughs> OK. Um, so uh, I don't know. It was probably a couple of years ago now. Episode uh, 55, I mentioned a particular report. And I said, we should do a whole episode on just this. Uh, Marwa, do you remember back to episode 55? Yes. Yes, episode 55. It was about uh, the way that the page performance reporting you have you such an that. encyclopedic knowledge of Apex Instant Tips. I love that. <laughs> yes, Apex Instant Tips, number 55, weighted page performance. Very good, Mara. Um, so today, we're not actually going to do that whole episode on this. We're going to do three tips, but we're going to include that one again because it's just so important. And we'll use that as the basis for the other two tips. Hey, Stefan. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Rich. Uh, um, so we're going to do that. So we're going to, we have just five minutes. I'm going to share my screen. I'll kick off my timer and we'll start by talking about the weighted page performance report. So let's see if we, we can do this. Um, so what you do is you go to monitor activity and weighted page performance. It's right down here. And this column right here, weighted average, is going to be the column that's automatically um, sorted descending. It takes to, into account both the number of page views and the elapsed time it takes per page review. Um, it multiplies those together. And so these are the things that people are spending the most time in in your application. The first one, that page is pretty quick. It's within the realm. The next couple are slow, though. So this report right away is telling me, OK, I've got some slow some slowness going on here. You can see I'm doing it in production. So I this is real data. Um, so I would want to look at this page. I really did this um, this last week. I saw this page. I thought, OK, I'm going to go look at it. Um, I suggest you take one of these. You put it on every week's, um, every sprint's backlog to pick a, out a couple of these. Um, exactly. What is slow? Search in project. I looked at it. It was a couple hundred line long query. I didn't see anything that jumped out at me. I'm pretty good at like, ah, this is it. So I, I remembered back to, and this is tip number two, I remember back to Rich Soul's blog post about finding missing foreign key indexes. This query had lots of well-structured um, foreign keys in joins. So I thought maybe it's missing a few indexes. I went out to Rich Soul's blog. It's right here. We'll put the link in the notes. Um, and I ran Rich's query to find missing foreign key indexes. I found 47 missing foreign key indexes. Oh, wow. That must be the issue. Yeah, yeah. And not only does the query find them for me, it gave me the, the actual SQL, the SQL DDL to create those indexes. Boom. There we go. So here it is. We've got our weighted page performance tip number one. Yes. And actually, Anton, we can subscribe to this report and receive it each week to have an idea about the performance, like in the production environment. I think that's a great idea. You get it. It puts it top of mind once a week. You get this report and you're good to go. So that's uh, tip 1A. Yes, but sometimes we don't we don't have access to to do the subscription, right? So what is so I'm going to answer this question expected average elapsed. So first, I'm going to answer this. You can get somebody else, the DBA or somebody can subscribe with your email address. So if you don't have access to production, get the DBA or somebody that does have access to the production builder to do it for you. They'll do it. Um, uh, I'm going to answer the other question. I think the average elapsed time should be less than half a second, um, less than a third of a second, better still. If anything's over half a second, you should be looking at it. That's my answer to that. Um, so, right. uh, so, so, but as you said, Anton, the DBA could do the subscription for us. Sometimes we don't have the builder in the production environment. Uh huh. Okay, we have tip number one: subscribe to this, run this report, subscribe to it. Tip number two: Rich's uh, tip about the indexes. Tip number three: What if you don't have this in production? Okay. So, okay, what if you don't? 
we're going to create this report in our own application is what we're going to do. We're going to take the same. We're going to create it into an application that we are going to have access to in production. We'll promote it. You'll put the right, the right authorizations around it and so forth. So how am I going to recreate this report, Marwa? What's, what's my, my take? We will, we will need the query of this report. And for that, we need to trace the builder itself to get the this query. This is an amazing tip. Tip number three, trace the builder itself. Okay, how do I do it? I'm gonna to go to monitor activity. Yeah, I'm gonna active sessions. I'm gonna find my session, the one I'm in the builder. This is my builder account. I'm gonna to go to that. I'm going to turn on tracing, application trace, and apply changes. I'm gonna come back here. I'm just going to hit go. When I click go, I'm, it will just trace this report. So I cl click go, I think, click go, go. All right, well, let's just say my, my machine wasn't uh, doing this. I then turn application tracing off. And what I'm gonna find is this Ajax call right here, page views by way of, I'll open this debug and take a look at it. When I do that, I'm gonna find this query. This is the exact query Apex wrote right here. I'm gonna copy that. I can use that in my report, except I can't quite use it because it uses WWE flow activity log. I have to make a couple of tiny changes. I've done that here. I've made that, I've used Apex workspace activity log instead. I'll run that, Oop. I'll run that. And you can see, here it is. We're gonna take this query and put it in our own application. Three, two, one, time's up. That's great. This is a very useful query, Anton. Um, where, where do I get it? Oh, you want the query. Here's how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna publish it right now. Boom. It's now available on apexdebug.com. So um, if you go to apexdebug.com, scroll to the bottom, you'll have that query available to you. That's great. Thank you. All right. Three tips in five minutes. Page, weighted page performance, do it today, now, by one o'clock, everybody should be doing this, right? Second tip, check out Rich's blog post. That URL is kicking around somewhere as well. On, in the, uh, there's Rich's blog post. Tip number three is it's not just the query, it's how did we find the query? Trace the builder itself. Exactly. All right, uh, I love this. Okay, well, if you just stuck, stuck around for the tips, your five minutes is up, do all the things. Uh, don't forget to tell your mom about the show, right? Send her a letter. She's going to want to know about it. Um, okay. My book review. Okay. So, and I'm going to say, I don't have a book review. I have a book recommendation. And the truth is, I haven't even finished reading this book. I'm only about 10 pages in. Uh, but um, this is the recommendation that I received about this book. I was told... I highly recommend it for anyone who is in a leadership role at a company. That would be me or a nine leadership role. That's a lot of people or anyone who buys things or owns things or cares for other people or cares for themselves. So that's a pretty so solid uh, book recommendation. Yes. Okay. So here it is. This is the book. It's called bullshit jobs. Um, oh. <laughs> Uh, I'm only a few pages in. It's uh, it's a little bit um, it's it's got a little bit of a soapbox, uh, you know. Somebody's uh, saying what he thinks, uh, David Graeber. Um, but uh, but I think it's worth a read. Yes, I I haven't read the book for a while, so I'm going to take your recommendation, and I will okay. give you my thoughts afterwards. <laughs> All right, so I'm a, I'm a ways into it. Um, so, uh, well, I think that's all we have. Um, I know we had a question on time zone uh, things um, right here. Oracle SAS doesn't use these, but still it works. So this is an interesting, uh, an interesting question. Um, uh, so what's going on here is the underlying, the, the, this question, uh, there, I, I have a long blog post about time zones. And I have, a, I think this question ended up on there and I responded to that. Uh, and I say, I think folks should use time zone with timestamp. Um, 
and or time zone time zone with local timestamp for their um, for their uh, applications. But the point was that the Oracle um, eBusiness Suite and other SaaS applications aren't using those data types in their tables, um, and so. My my answer, and I have a fairly long answer in my blog, in the blog post on in some.ca if you look for this, but the short answer is this. If you have time zone with local timestamp or time timestamp with local time zone um, in your database column, if that's it, the database is going to handle time zones for you. You don't have to. If you don't, then your application has to handle all the time zones. So you have to convert it on the way into the database and on the way out. And that's what these SaaS applications are doing. They were written before this data type existed. So they handled the data types. They, they said, okay, you gave me this, you gave me 1205 Eastern time. I'm going to convert that to, um, uh, you, you gave me 1205. I know from your browser that you're in Eastern time. I'm going to convert that to Zulu time. UTC when I store it in the database. Then when Marwa, when you query that up through the eBusiness suite, it's going to query it out in UTC, but it's going to convert it to what time zone are you in? UTC plus one. UTC plus one. So it's going to your it the application has to do all of that math right itself instead of just letting the database do it. So uh Pradash, um I want to know I want you to know that I did I did uh answered up. Oh, beautiful. Wow. This is it's great having somebody actually um, behind the scenes looking this stuff up. There we go. There's our URL. Um, well, Marwa, it has been a pleasure once again. Thank you also, Anton. And lots of engagement today. Uh, we had, we probably have, I don't know, I'm going to say six people watching. It's incredible. Yes, probably it is. Highest ever. <laughs> All right. Um, no tip next week because I'm on vacation. Um, and uh, But we'll be back the week after, if you can make it, Marwa. Yes. All right. So we'll see everybody in two weeks. Do all the things. Like, subscribe. Thank you. Tell your mom about the show. Thank you.